In 2005, the BBC relaunched Doctor Who onto UK television screens to a smash success, which went from strength to strength. In 2007, ITV fired back the next salvo in the big-budget science fiction TV show Wars with Primeval. In our first short look for Primeval, we look at the Series 1, Episode 1, the opener, which sets up the premise of the series and introduces us to our initial characters. Our primary character is Professor Cutter, who is a evolutionary paleobiologist from the University of We Didn't Get Named, and his graduate student assistant, Stephen, plus an undergrad, Connor Temple, and a herpetologist, Abby, and a civil servant, Claudia Brown. They are brought together through the mystery of these creatures and a strange, anomalous phenomena, which allows someone to pass between our time and the Earth in the Permian era. Hilarity ensues as these creatures come through the anomaly and terrorize people, and ultimately Professor Cutter and a military man go into the anomaly to find out what's going on over there. Cutter is obsessed with finding his wife, who was lost eight years earlier, and now believes that she may have passed through this anomaly into the Permian era. These suspicions are confirmed when he recovers a camera from the vicinity of a dead human body in the Permian, has the film developed, and discovers pictures of his long-missing wife. That's the setup for the series. What's causing it? What does this anomaly mean? Are there others? Has it been here before? Has it come back? We don't know. And it's a great mystery. I love it. I love the setup and the mystery of this episode. And if only, well, anything, any show that has to do with dinosaurs, prehistoric creatures, in this case, let's get this out of the way right now. These characters call these things dinosaurs, but they are all specifically not dinosaurs. These are from Paleozoic times. The Permian is pre-Mesozoic. The Mesozoic is a period where the dinosaurs exist. These are mammal-like reptiles, actually more directly our forebearers than the forebearers of the birds, which is what the dinosaurs are. So right off the bat, the writing in this story puts my teeth on edge because they're constantly using the wrong terminology, which would be fine from the stupid kid that's being chased by the Gorgonopsid, but not so good from the professor of evolutionary paleobotany or whatever the heck he is in this show. That just seems inexcusable. In fact, the whole show, even this first episode, which I consider very strong, has been hit by the stupid science stick. Cutter goes back into the Permian time to investigate the anomaly and return one of the creatures that has come through, feeling that he'd best not disturb the timeline. And yet, while he's there, this man of science is more interested in just sort of hunting around his wife, to the point where he didn't bother to take a camera to take pictures of the Permian, any kind of equipment to take samples of the air, the soil, the radiation, the background radio signals, anything anything to do any scientific experiments whatsoever. Nothing. And this is one of the major failings of Primeval. It's a great idea with a team of people who ought to know better, and yet they consistently do not do what you would expect. Further, there are horrible, horrible mistakes. Like, at one point, they discover the skeleton in the Permian, and the military guy goes, is that your wife? Because, of course, they now suspect she was lost back in that period of time. And Cutter goes over to the bones, scraps a little dust off the ribs, ribs, and counts them and goes, No, it's not her. This is a man. Seriously, people, is anybody so ignorant still in this day and age 
that we don't know that the whole men have fewer ribs than women is a complete and absolutely fabricated myth. Men and women both have 24 ribs. It's actually relatively difficult to tell male and female skeletons apart on many places. It's mostly just the pelvic region that gives the best clues for determining the gender of a skeleton. But somebody like Professor Cutter should have known better, but the writers, who are the real blame for this, didn't go on with it. Nonetheless, there's a lot to like about the show. It's an interesting mix of characters. The, the scientist, the, the undergrad, active, dynamic, hunting, hunting guy, the crazy conspiracy guy who has an amazing database of extinct animals and still called them dinosaurs. Abby, who's supposed to be the sex symbol for the episode, the herpetologist who likes her lizards, uh, and the delectable Claudia Brown in this episode from the home office is just steals the show. My personal opinion. Anyway, I really did enjoy Primeval when it was out, and I'm looking forward to watching a few more episodes before the stupid stick beats my brain bluntly into the ground and I can take it no more. <laughs>